good afternoon in this session i am going to explain about multi touch application how user can develop the multi touch application in flash and flux this multi touch application is a newly invented api it is now implemented in flash and flux before starting this one we need to know what is multi touch multi touch is purely depending upon the physical interaction of of the device of the physical interaction of the device but the multi touch development in flux is not only depend upon the physical interaction but also it's depend upon the movement of the device movement of the movement say for example if the user drag the image means they need to press the image press the device or stylus by moving the image here there here there here there that type of events will be triggered by the multi touch develop event in the flash and flux about me i am sindhu kumar working as a senior or ai engineer in adam studio for past 2 years and about my tech blog will be sensorang.wordpress.com and how this multi touch api is known to all the peoples it was the multi touch application has been made popular by apple and and their tablets through this thing multi touch application has been most popular to all the peoples so flash has taken that advantage and they have developed the but they have they have developed the api for developing the multi touch application in this session what are the things we are going to see flow of input from user to the flash runtime and what are the uh, softwares and the platform supported for this api touch event and gesture and the api for handling the user interaction flux touch events and flux gesture events and code flow of input from user to runtime user device operating system application and flash runtime see if user by just imagine that i am going to press my finger or by using some other touch device in the in the operating system what what it will do how that flow will occur i will explain in step by step the user pressing this device first what it will do the operating system register the events like touch events or gesture events then the application will listen the thing and it will fire in the flash during the flash run time these are all the flows through which it will happen the next thing actually i already told to you this is a newly invented technology newly invented innovative technology so what are the things we need to run platform and hardware based upon the flash we need flash player 10.1 and if you want to develop the ar application means then we need to have ar 2.0 in that in that multi touch api there are two major events are there one is touch another one is gesture so i will explain laterly what is touch and what what is gesture touch touch events has been acceptable in windows 7 and later and mac os for 10.5.3 and later and for iphone iphone os 3.0 and later android 2.2 and windows 6.5 windows 6.5 is basically depend only for the mobile and for gesture it's in same thing windows 7 and later max os that is 10.5.3 and iphone os 3.0 android 2.2 and windows 6.5 next 
what is new for multi touch it means what is multi touch api that is available in newly flash 10.1 and yeah see the newly invented the multi touch api is purely based on action script 3.0 that's the thing and and there are all the some of the events which has been placed in the multi touch api one is touch event another one is touch uh, faces another one is gesture event and transform transform event these are the things available in the multi touch for the 10.1 and yar point yar 2.0 and also so many facilities is so many things has been implemented in 10.1 and yar 2.0 but regarding about the multi touch these are the things is available then this is the main topics that is touch event and gesture event what is touch event see just imagine there is a touch screen in front of you if user is there is an image okay when user is pressing that image that image need to be that alpha value need to be zero so for that we need to write the touch event that is input with the single point device that is when user is clicking that image then alpha value will be decrease gesture event it means that is that image if user want to enlarge the image that means user need to use the two hands by stretching the image like um one and another and if you want to increase the image image that image means then we need to do like this so for that we need to use the two fingers so this is a gesture events these two events will be fire when user is pressing this device based upon that usage and say so, and we need to know what are the important concept is available in touch one is discovery api and touch even touch point multi touch even gesture even faces stylus present tab we will move one by one what it will be discovery api what is discovery api we need to we need to before we run the application we need to discover whether that application is running in the multi touch availability that is that the os has capability of using the multi touch already i have explained you that is when user is pressing that touch screen then and that os need to register the event and next one is touch event i already explained you that um, touch when user is pressing the image so it will what what it will do it will need to fire the events so that is a touch event what is touch point touch point basically means if there is see more than 3 images are there if user is Uh, say for example if user is pressing the first image like this one then each and everything each and every touch has an unique touch point so that by using this touch point we can making the alpha value as zero for this one and we can make the alpha value be zero for this one and second one is multi touch even that is by placing this finger or the placing this stylus each and every other and gesture even i already um, gesture even is enlarging the by using the finger we can enlarge the image or zooming the image or swipe the image faces this is the most important part see there is an object will be there if when user is pressing this image pressing the image what it happen that need to give the feedback to that interactive object like when user is moving that interactive object is also moving so whenever the finger is moving we need to give the